If you ever want to use Amplitude 5 with two guitars or with a guitar and a bass um, and you want completely different stacks for each instrument, that can be done. Uh, it takes a couple of steps and there's a couple of ways to do it. So let's take a look at how that happens. Step zero, you do need a USB interface with two channels. Just plug your second guitar or bass into channel two. Step one starts off in the settings dialog. On the audio MIDI tab, you need to put one input in each channel. I'll just put channel one on the left channel and channel two on the right channel. On my Axe IO, this maps nicely to reality as the left input is channel one and the right input is channel two. Now that we have the two inputs coming in, we have to use two tracks in recorder mode. Let's go into the eight track recorder view using the show hide tracks button. I'll enable track two for Amplitube, put it in record mode, and here's the important but easy to miss step. I need to switch this track's input from channel one to channel two down here in the lower left. Let's toggle out of the recorder view. Currently, track two has the default stack. Let's switch to track two. Scroll down to the bass amps and select the Galeon Kruger amp. I don't have a bass here, but I can plug a second guitar into channel two and tap out a few notes and simulate a bass. Now I'll switch back to the guitar in channel one and you can hear the original stack from that channel. We can do the same thing in live and looper mode. They operate the same, so I'm going to use live mode for the example. Notice we have a default stack again. First, let me select the parallel splitter and I'll put a guitar amp in the left upper channel. Sidebar one. And here's one of my least favorite bugs in Amplitude 5. Once I've clicked on an amp or really done anything with the processing chain, the top window changes and there is no way that I have found to get back to the original live interface. I can quit and restart, but if you know an easier way, leave a comment. And sidebar. I'll put a bass amp in the right lower channel. This is going to be cabinet two. From my ersatz bass guitar on channel two, we get bass tones. From my electric guitar in channel one, we can hear the guitar amp. If we switch to the mixer view, we can see the signal on cabinet one when I play the instrument in channel one. And on cabinet two, we can see the signal coming from channel two. This works the same in looper mode, including the display bug. Okay, that's it. Call up a guitar or bass playing friend and have them come jam with you. Until next time, rock out in peace. <laughs>